hey guys hi welcome to my channel quick introduction about myself this is Saurabh and uh, I'm automated from last 10 plus years I work with all these companies product companies service companies Oracle Cognizant Cisco Zen Sarah Workday and uh, throughout my journey I switched from manual testing to automation testing and uh, I have learned a lot and I'm just trying to share my experience through these videos with you guys quick introduction about my new website Minister of Automation so this is the website I started with uh, and uh, we are doing a lot of automation transformation things with a lot of colleagues and a group study kind of thing so if you are really interested to learn automation step by step you know i would request you guys to go ahead and visit my website ministryofautomation.com and go to this enrollment and enroll for this automation transformation and uh, it's gonna take like five minutes maybe but you will get a lot of good information on email so go ahead and enroll yourself if you are really interested to learn automation okay back to our topic so if you are watching this video, I'm really sure you want to learn about automation framework. I know automation framework is a fancy word in an industry right now. And there are a lot of people, a lot of material outside there on YouTube or you know, on the Google. And uh, some of the feedbacks I have received from my students is like sort of we get lost whenever we want to learn automation framework. We don't know from where to start and we don't know what to pick and you know, there is a lot of lot of information basically we are getting overloaded we don't know how to how to structure this automation framework study so i'm trying my best to put all these pieces together in a, in a logically incremented way so that you know uh, you will understand what is exactly automation framework why we need it how to build it and you know identify the necessary components required for a good framework and start building incrementally and not as a big bang so i receive a lot of emails and i talk to a lot of people who take trainings from me and their expectations are like sort of we want to build a fantastic framework and it should have reporting it should have page object model test ng maven jenkins git everything and when i when i talk to them sometimes i i i feel that people are not understanding the basics or people are not focusing on what exactly is needed on their project what exactly is the skill level in their project what is exactly the long-term goal from this framework there are a lot of things you know to answer not one framework suits everywhere i have worked in product companies like oracle where i have seen the framework at very different level and i have also worked for services for clients who are just getting started with the framework and I have designed framework at both the companies and looking at the audience, looking at the, you know, amount of investment you can do, the time investment, the skills investment, what kind of, what kind of people are there in your project. There are a lot of things which needs to be understood uh, and before you start jumping and building a framework. Okay. So keeping all these things aside, I'm going to teach you some, some very, very standard things which you need to learn as an automation framework. So before we start, learning about automation framework you should know what is framework right so follow these videos i'm going to post a series of videos where i'll talk very casually in a simple language about what is framework the different components of framework why we need it and what if we don't have it you know what kind of challenges you may face what kind of issues you may come across while while you know uh, automating so all these things i'm going to talk in my uh, these videos and uh, you might get overloaded with all these technologies right now out there you know the github test ng maven apache log 4j data driven testing jenkins page object model i know there are a lot of things to learn but what is the logical way and what is the incremental way to learn this does it make sense to to learn test ng first or does it make sense to learn page object model first and how do we integrate or there are a lot of questions right I, I, I'm going to keep it all this simple and uh, I'm not able to cover each of this topic in detail, uh, you know, which I do it in my training. So if you really want to learn this in detail and uh, right from basics and how we integrate them, what individual technology, I would suggest you to join my training sessions. They are very, very nice. A lot of people from top companies are, are, are in our training sessions and uh, we discuss a lot, the practical implementation, what's happening in their companies. What is the need of which technology and what they want to add, what they want to reject and so on. There's a lot of useful information out there if you really want to join the training. 
So in these sessions, I'm going to teach you the framework learning path, what logical increments you need, you need to follow, you know, uh, from where to start. So I'm going to, I'm going to teach you incremental things, step by step, all this individual technology. First, you need to learn all this individual technology on your own, you know, a gate test and GPA one data driven testing, Jenkins page object model report for log 4G and, and there are a lot. So basically you need to learn in these individual technologies first. And then you need to also learn how we integrate them and what makes sense and what doesn't make sense. You know, so all these things I'm going to cover in my videos. So please watch all of my videos step by step. And uh, yeah, let's see you in the next video. And uh, if you want to join my training sessions, you're welcome to talk to me. Please drop me an email or register yourself and uh, I'll be available to discuss with you guys. Thank you.